Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Celine. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about feminism, which is a topic that I've got a lot of questions in the past and recently on. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it means to be a feminist, why I call myself a feminist, and what really feminism even means in its simplest definition. So if you are interested in any of those ideas, if not all of them, then keep on watching. I'm going to start the video off by saying what feminism even means so that way you have an idea of what I'm talking about before I even get involved in everything that I'm about to say. Feminism just means that you want basic equality between men and women. You want a woman to be treated the exact same way that a man is. You want a woman to be paid the exact same pay that a man gets. So if a woman is working a part-time job and gets $10, for an hour, then you want a man to get $10 an hour. If a woman can join the military, then a man can join the military. If a woman can be president, then a man can be president. So vice versa, all of those things is what a feminist believes in. And that's not just it, by the way. So there's just everything that a man can do, it should be seen that a woman can do the exact same. So if a man is a CEO of a company, that means the woman can be a CEO of a company if she tries and works hard enough as the man does. Once again, Feminism is just equality between men and women socially, economically, politically, intellectually, militarily, this list can go on and on. Exactly a little over a year ago, I uploaded in like late April, I did a video with my club um, titled Who Cares About Feminism Anyways? I'll link it down below so you guys can go check it out. I really, really hope you guys watched it. If not, um, we'll watch it right after this video because I worked super hard on it and I had my entire club, which is um, Young Women's Forum, where we basically talk about the exact same issues in this video except a little bit more in depth, obviously, because it's a year-long club. Um, about feminism. So anyways, in that video, what we did was, I'll let you watch it, but um, I didn't have anyone say anything. You no know, faces were shown. It was all in black and white, so you didn't see skin color. You didn't see if it was a woman or a man holding a sign. But in those signs, everyone, I had everyone write down what they think it means to be a feminist. So it turned out really successfully. I was really pleased with the outcome of it. So I really think did it did send a strong message to girls and women everywhere. So again, I'll leave it linked down below. Please go check it out. But again, I'm talking about the exact same topic a little over a year. So really nothing has changed. Kind of a bad thing because you would hope that in like a year's time, there would be some things that have changed um, between um, equality, but really there has not been much progress, um, at, at least in the United States there hasn't. And it's a proven fact that a woman makes roughly around 70 cents for every a dollar that a man earns. And that's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. And it really bothers me when people say, you know what, I don't even care because I'm still getting paid. Because you, in fact, should care. Because you are absolutely losing that money for no other reason other than the fact that you were a girl, that you were a woman born. That's it. Just because you're a girl means that you are getting paid 30 cents less than a man is. And not even just 30 cents, but if you think about thousands upon thousands of dollars that a man will make, a woman will make hundreds and hundreds of dollars less than that of the man. And lately in today's society, in the media especially, a lot of celebrities have come forward and said whether or not they are or aren't feminists. And this has got a lot of different reactions from two different groups of people, one being feminists and one being anti-feminists, and the anti-feminists most of the time don't even know what a feminist even is, so it's just people who are confused on the term itself. But anyways, these celebrities, by saying whether they are or aren't, have been sparking a lot of reactions. So if a woman says that she is a feminist, many feminists are very happy about that because it shows that they are believing in basic equality and rights of both women and men. And for example, stars like Meghan Trainor, um, Shailene Woodley have been saying that they aren't feminists and they haven't really been saying what they think a feminist really even means. And people who have been claiming that they are feminists have been saying that I do think that a man should be treated the same way as a woman and, you know, vice versa that. Um, again, like those celebrities that are saying that they're anti-feminists aren't even clarifying what they think the term feminism even is. So it's just, it's just a very broad term that has been used for a lot of different things and I think people are getting the terms mixed up. I think the key reason why a lot of people are saying they aren't feminists is because when they think of the word feminism, they think of the 70s, like women who are saying, I hate men and burning their bras and not shaving their arm hair or leg hair or anything just to prove that they hate men and that they aren't going to be um, under the standards of society or things like that. But feminism isn't really that. It's feminism, if anything, is saying like, I love men and I want to support men and I hope a man supports me the way I support them. And that's really the concept of it. But again, since people are so focused on seeing these images of these women who are just violently, like you could see that they're very aggressive and very passionate about what they're talking about. And I'm sure that some people who are feminists do burn their bras and that they don't shave their arm hair, but it doesn't make you it, like, okay, for someone to say, 
I don't want to be a feminist because I actually like men. That's not what feminism is. Not shaving your arm hair and burning your bras and hating on men is not what it means to be a feminist. Sure, a feminist might actually say, you know what, I don't wear bras just because I don't feel like wearing bras. And yeah, that you could be a feminist by, you could be a feminist and say those things, but that does not make you a feminist. It just makes you someone who doesn't want to wear bras and you just don't want to shave your arm hair, leg hair, wherever it may be. Why is feminism so important and why is it talked about so often in the media is a question that a lot of people have been asking, especially recently with all of the commotion between sexual harassment and um, especially on college campuses and also around the world. But um, around the world, a lot of these issues have been kind of left to silence. What makes me very upset is that people don't really look into um, areas in the world where feminism is not even existent. It's not even a form of society. Here, there are so many jobs where actually it's kind of illegal. Not kind of. It is illegal to um, say that someone can't, if you're a boss, you, you can't not hire someone just because they're of a different gender like that's an that's a rule that's a law in america but in other places that's not the case at all um there are so many young girls who are aged like seven eight nine ten eleven um teens who are forced to marry older men much older men just because that's what the tradition is in those countries and in those countries feminism is not relevant. There's no such thing as women's equality. There's no such thing as standing up for um, younger girls and girls around the world. I just, I can't stress enough how important it is that um, we, ha we are so privileged as it is right now, but we do not have all the privileges that we should be having. And there are those who say, you know what, women have enough right as is. They can vote, they can get a job, they could take care of a baby, whatever. They have rights. Why do we need to give them more? Well, same could be said for men. Why? Why does a man need to have all of this stuff if he has this and this already? It's the same for women, and people need to understand that and um, think about that when they're saying that they hate feminism. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this was very very concise version of what feminism is, but I really hope that um, you guys learned something from this, especially for my subscribers. I think it's very important for you girls and women, especially to understand what it is, as well as men if you're and boys if you're watching this video, to learn what feminism is and why we need to raise awareness for it and why we need to have as many people involved in it as possible. And this is not my opinion or anything, but this is just facts. I think not even I think that equality should just be regulated for men and women total, like period, because you can't change the fact that you're a man or a woman. That's just what you are. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment down below on what your views on feminism is, and if this video has helped you learn anything more about equality than you already have known, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and my Turkish channel if you speak Turkish, or you just want to hear me speak Turkish. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everyone!